What's going on everybody? I'm the Super Chef Darnell Ferguson and this is Cook That Ish, the one round winner takes all competition show that finds two chefs who claim to be the best at cooking a certain dish and we put them head to head to see who can not only talk it, but cook it. Even this shit crank. Ain't nobody cooking like your man right here. Man right here. Oh, trying to find that sauce, then you should look right here. Look right here. Oh, I'm a fool with the whole entree. Oh, hit him with a little saute. Oh, you know I be coming with fillets. Oh, scissor with the drizzle in the glaze. Hey. Cooking out of the red corner. She is one of the lead cooks at V Grits restaurant here in Louisville, Kentucky. She is all vegan everything. And when asked about what she thinks of her competitor, she said, and I quote, I'm just better. Give it up for the one, the only, Chef Wesley Moore. Hey, hey. It's a new era of chefs and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. What's going on, Chef? Good to have you, good to have you. And last but not least, this chef has opened up two successful restaurants in not only one state, but two. He is the self-proclaimed king of TikTok and now serves as a KM at Shiraz restaurant here in Louisville, Kentucky. Cooking out of the blue corner, give it up for Chef Reggie Cleveland. That's my success, hey. Glad to have you, man. You. All right, so how y'all both feeling today? Good, good. Good. All right, we're in great spirits. So today we have an interesting battle. We have one vegan chef versus a carnivore chef. So I'm thinking that we make this a level playing field. I say we cook that one dish that's relatable to both culinary appetites. We're talking pasta, people. So now the time is here to compete. And the one thing you know about me is I know about competition. So you know this wasn't gonna be a walk in the park. So we have two challenges this round. The first one being time. You both will have 25 minutes to plate and cook your dish. The second challenge, which I will say, in my opinion, is the toughest of all the challenges we have this season, is you have to make your pasta from scratch. And making pasta from scratch in 25 minutes as a whole dish is not easy, people. Trust me, this is gonna be difficult. But if you're looking for any ingredients, we have our shop veggie pantry for you with all plant-based ingredients. And for you, we have went to Kroger and have all your ingredients right there ready for you. So, are we ready to compete? Yes, Hell yeah. All right, so before we get started, we have to do our famous rock, paper, scissors showdown and see who's gonna go first. So, Chef Wes, are you ready? Yes. Chef Reggie, are you ready? Bread ready. Three, two, one. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, Chef Reggie, you win the rock, paper, scissors, so you will go first. Chef Wes, I will see you in a little bit. All right. All right. So, all right, Chef Reggie, your 25 minutes starts now. I plan on making me a pasta from scratch, but I plan on incorporating a little bit of basil and a little bit of spinach into my pasta dough as well as some black pepper though. Mm. This here I would call a crab artichoke alfredo. Okay. All right, so let's go over here to our Kroger judging table and introduce our amazing judges we have. First, we have Louisville's own, my man 50 grand, winner of <laughs> season nine of MasterChef, Mr. Jerron Hertz. <laughs> Thank you, Darnell, for having me. Then next, we have the bourbon queen, the spice, Hater and uh, <laughs> lover of all flavors, Miss Mackenzie K. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Chef. So, what do y'all think about a pasta bag? Man, pasta is so versatile. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what type of ingredients are going to be paired with it. Let's see, you got some whole eggs, some egg yolks. Is it spinach? Uh, yes, sir. This is spinach right here. Uh, I'm going to do my sauce with a little heavy whipping cream, some butter, and then I'm going to use three blends of cheeses. I don't even know the last time I ever had pasta literally this fresh. <laughs> so I'm definitely excited for that. That's the old fashioned way. That's the way grandmamas do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's taking you back, you know? Yeah. So chef, I don't know about you, but whenever I think pasta, I typically think nice Italian dinner. And what do you need with that? Wine, of course. Wine. <laughs> so it looks like Stella Rosa gave us a lovely semi-sweet red. So what do you say we pop this bad boy open? Let me do the honors. I'm a gentleman. By all means. <laughs> oh, man. Sounds like it's got some carbonation to it. It does, it does. I'm so excited to wrap my lips around this glass. Yes. Not gonna sure. pour me a glass oh, over man. here, you know? Can't we forget can't, about we me. We can't forget oh, about man. our host. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. 
So I just seen Reggie do something very creative with this pasta. He made a well in the middle of it, and then he put the oil inside that well. Now he's kneading the dough even more. Love it. I love where you're going. Kneading the mess out of that dough too. You got some anger issues? <laughs> <laughs> got some stress you need to get off today, huh? Hey, when you get five kids, hey. Y'all got, got pent up stress. <laughs> Whenever you've got that carbonated wine, you definitely want to make yes. sure you serve it chilled. I've never had a carbonated red wine before. Yeah, Stella Rosa yeah, actually has yeah. a couple um, of really nice semi-sweet <laughs> and sweet reds that are fantastic <laughs> when they're chilled. <laughs> And Reggie, time is flying. You're at 15 minutes. All right, so you got your heavy cream, you got butter, you got some black pepper, you're adding some salt. What else goes in this sauce? Parsley over there and a little other herbs and spices. Crab cakes with this. Yes. It's crazy. What I want to do is give my crab cakes a little color profile in the middle. See, this is by far the hardest challenge because making pasta from scratch, pasta usually needs to rest for 30 minutes. They don't have 30 minutes here. So what do you think it is that's gonna separate this dish from your competitors? I enjoy every step of it. If I wasn't on camera right now, I'd probably be doing a Michael Jackson slide across my kitchen and singing and dancing with it. That's just my normal nature when I'm cooking. Well, just so you know, you can dance and sing in this kitchen, all right? You are the king of TikTok, so if you wanna bust out a move, you don't, don't let us be the reason why you're not. You would like a side video of that. Way. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am gonna bind it. I am gonna fry it in the deep fryer. Deep frying the crab cake on the, okay. Yeah. This is different. Cause no chef would dare put a fried food with a pasta. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's until we met Chef Reggie over there. And we are at nine minutes, Chef Reggie. Put on that. Sauce going, pasta's resting, crab cakes, are about to start getting put together. You are on task right now. Listen, this Stella Rosso is my new wine of choice. No, this is yeah. fire. Oh, man. And Reggie, if you would like, if you need to use any bourbon if you, at any point in this, you let me know, because we have our official bourbon of Cook That Dish Season 1, which is Mitkert's bourbon. So if you need a little bit, or if you need a shot to kind of energize yourself, you just let me know, all right? Yeah, I'll be interested to see how the integrity of the sauce holds up. This is a lot of hard execution to do. So what I'm trying to do now is get my crab cake to stick. Yeah, I've known Reggie now. He's moved on mm -hmm. to Shiraz out of the Super Chef umbrella. Uh, he is on his way to the top, and I'm super excited about your future. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Oh, so you're adding a crab to the pasta and to the cake. Yes, to the crab oh. and to the cake. Yep. All chefs, you taste everything. Taste as you're building. You want to taste while you're building flavor, not at the end, because the whole point is that you can add things while the food is cooking. So my plan is to use a little Swiss, Parmesan, Asiago, and smoked cheddar. Gotcha. All right, Reggie, you're pulling up on seven minutes now. All right, let's see how you got this going. So you got some flour down. Perfect. For me, that makes a meal so much more enjoyable because you know that chef put their absolute, like, everything into it. Nearly impossible to make pasta in 25 minutes. Goodness, look at we got fettuccine. <laughs> Love it. Fantastic, chef. Salty like the ocean. Yeah. That makes the perfect pasta. What you got on over here? I am going to make a garlic butter. All right, Reggie, you literally have three minutes left. So please make sure you have three plates up here in the next three minutes for everyone. I still haven't seen no shrimp go on yet. I, I do see the garlic what? butter though. So. Two minutes left, chef. Two minutes left. Two minutes. So cooking fresh pasta is more difficult than it looks because you normally you wouldn't watch your pasta al dente. Al dente pasta does not go with fresh pasta, people. You can't get fresh and al dente. You only get al dente when you get it out the box. So. I'm excited to see this pasta is literally already floating. All right, Reg, you got a minute now. Right. You got to get it moving, brother. Remember, a competition is always about thinking of what you can do great and what you can't do great. If you can't finish off something, make it perfect. Sometimes you got to leave it off the plate, brother. You got it. You got it. We have 45 seconds to get this pasta mixed up on a dish and make it look good. Ooh, how did those work? Yeah. All right, Reggie. We are down to the last 25 seconds, brother. 25 seconds, let's go, Reggie, let's go! Oh man, he's changing those details right now. Everybody loves a little sauce in their pasta. We always little talk sauce, about a lot of sauce. Lost in the sauce, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. 10, 9, 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, hand all hands up, Reggie. Good first round, man. Good first and only round today. Wow, you made pasta 
25 minutes, man. You ready to go get Judge? Yeah, I'm ready to go get Judge. All right, let's go. So let's get into this first round of Judge. And Chef Reggie, what did you make for us? Today I made a crab cake artichoke alfredo. And I made the pasta from scratch with two blends of flour. And then I also threw in uh, just for presentation wise some, uh, some basil and a little spinach as well as some black pepper to the pasta mix itself. That's fantastic. Well, Chef McKenzie, can you slide me a little bit on there since we didn't get the third bowl full? But uh, I still want to taste what we got there because that pasta did look amazing and I would Heck be a sucker yes. not to try that pasta. Oh yeah, that looks great. Yeah, when you open that crab cake, it's nice. And with the Alfredo sauce, I tried to venture out a little bit with the cheese and I wanted to do more of a triple cheese blends. Great job. The pasta is beautiful as far as the way it looks when you put that spinach inside of it, the black pepper. I, I love this dish. The crab cake is straightforward. I think I love the fresh crab in there. I love when you open it. Like you, you actually said, I thought you were just, just talking. You thought, oh, it's gonna be trying to make the color of the inside colorful. I'm like, oh, whatever. But then when you cut inside of it, it's beautiful. So good job on this dish, man. I enjoy the sauce. It's nice and creamy. This is a pasta challenge. The pasta is definitely the star of this dish. Um, I think everything comes together very well. The crab cake um, is very delicious and is fried to perfection. If I had to be just a little bit picky about this dish, I would have loved to see a little bit of acidity, uh, some lemon juice or some white wine to, to lift that sauce up a bit more. The combination of flavors is killer. And Jerron, when I were talking like fried crab in, a, in an Alfredo pasta, but it's, so delicately done it's fantastic you could totally have gone with more seasoning more pepper more salt in my opinion but that definitely does not i think take away from the way you did your crab and the way that it pairs with the stella rosa it's fantastic because it is light and this is not a very heavy red this is a semi-sweet red so it pairs in layers great with your dish i think one of the smartest things you did in this whole dish is that you didn't add bread a lot of bread from to this crab cake well great job man we will see you in a little bit and uh, we're going to get round two started with chef wesley moore all right, so we're here for our second cook right now. We're about to get it started. Chef Wesley, are you ready? Yes. All right, 25 minutes. Time starts now. I'm not playing any favorites, but you're already moving fast and ready. Uh, <laughs> I am making a vegan ramen. Ramen? Ooh. So what you got going on right here? I have uh, some baking soda and to turn it from sodium bicarbonate to sodium carbonate, mm -hmm. uh, which makes it uh, more caustic and it helps with the uh, texture of the pasta. You will learn a lot in this round, people, so make sure you take some notes. Listen, I'm excited about this ramen. I grew up in the hood and I ate ramen noodles all the time. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I like to see a, eleva a good elevated version of ramen. Yes. And if you need any of your other plant-based items, shop Veggie, which is the world's largest plant-based online grocery store. Has a nice pantry for you right here. This pasta's coming together right. Good. I make almost everything from scratch. Right. Look at how quick she got her nose together. That's <laughs> crazy. You are setting She's a world record again. today Cheers. on this pasta. And you only gotta make three dishes, so just make sure we're gonna be judging on creativity, plating, execution, taste. Making so. pasta from scratch is definitely more complicated, but it's worth every single second when you go in to take that first bite. Yeah. But just make sure when you're making yeah. this, don't forget that it's only for three dishes, so you don't have to make two too right. much. I haven't been talking much, and if you're wondering why, because I'm just standing over here in amazement. Well, that's the thing about food. I mean, a lot of times when you jump into the kitchen and start cooking, things don't turn out the way you want them to. Mm -hmm. right. But you, it's, yeah. I mean, you got to have a game plan. You got to right. be able to just maneuver and do. Uh, and we're chefs, man. This is what you do for a living. You know, like something don't go right, you figure out how to how to get it, how to fix it. I'm just gonna serve it like that. It's become more of a dumpling than a, a ramen. Huge fan of bok choy. Huge fan of carrots, daikon. Huge fan of mushrooms. I'm a huge fan of flavor, and this seems like the ultimate flavor. I'm cutting the, can the onions up to caramelize. Sounds delicious. So we got our pasta going. Mm -hmm. We got our vegetables diced up. Just so you know, you're making good time. Right now, you're at 10 minutes, but just so you know, 10 minutes is like the new 20. She's not letting the time stress her out. She's not letting uh, the noodles stress her out. She's just cooking and having fun with it, and I love that. This is uh, some miso that I made myself. When you are plant-based, you realize how to get the flavor out of food the most. Correct. When I spent, what, three months in China, uh, so I've got the privilege of understanding and appreciating flavors and levels of flavors and spices. And so this is, a, this is right on track right here. I believe this is gonna be the first time that I've had 
uh, a complete vegan dish. I'm, I'm really, really excited. The aromatics are on fire. Oh, be glazing with the chalcine. Yes, sir. And adding that to the broth. Yes, sir. Small details right there. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Chef, you've been talking about wines and reduction, so. There we go. You're getting it. And this is bourbon barrel food soy sauce. Thank yes, you. It's the it's double so fermented. Good. It's the oh. double fermented that comes in the really yes, tiny bottle. Bitty, bitty, bitty. Fire. Okay, Chef Wes, so you're at about five minutes left. How about your garnishes? I'm thinking some green onions, a little bit of gnocchi, or just a, which are just a really fun little cute mushroom. I see you had some. Um, sorghum syrup. Sorghum syrup. Are you putting that in there? Oh uh, that was gonna be garnish. All right, you are down to the last two minutes. This yeah. is this is beautiful. Looks like she's straining a lot of those good ingredients off of that broth. All right, we are boiling down to that final minute, everybody. Get on the edge of your seat. She's putting the broth in now, and then them vegetables and those garnishes. We are pulling up to the finish line. I'm hungry. Smells so good. The broth looks so rich. I'm gonna drizzle the sesame oil on top. All right, we're down to the final 30 seconds. Let's go, Chef, you got it. Yes, get that garnish, girl. Oh my gosh, this is turning out to be even more beautiful. Please, please, please don't forget that syrup. All right, are y'all ready for the final countdown? In 10, nine, nine eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, there you go, Angie. Oh, yeah. Great job, Thank you. Wes. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. Let's get ready to go to the Kroger judging table and see what the judges think about this meal. All right, so as we get into our second round of judging, I want to send a special thanks to today's sponsors, our friends over at Stella Rosa Wines. Today's future wine is Stella Rosa's Rosso, which the experts at Stella Rosa suggest would pair best with pasta and has been an amazing, amazing choice. So thank you for that. Chef. Tell us what we have today. So we have a vegan ramen. Um, the main flavors are kombu, which is a form of seaweed, uh, enoki mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, sesame, ginger, and a little bit of garlic, and some onion. Fantastic. Oh man, hang on. This is amazing. It makes you want to keep going back, back, and back. So. <laughs> Killer job on this. The noodles, um, because of the size of the noodles, they're a little dense. Yeah. Um, you can kind of tell that they probably just need to be cut in half again, rolled out a little bit thinner. Uh, but the dish all together is a hit. I love the fresh bok choy on top of it. Oh man, this is flavorful as you could ask for any broth to be. It's a great dish. Thank you. This dish is incredible. Yeah. Oh my goodness, thank you sir. It is the best broth I've ever tasted. I'm with Darnell on the noodles. They're a bit, a bit overwhelming to the palate because they're so thick and dense. The broth and the vegetables, the mushrooms, they save it. Thank you. You definitely made me a believer in vegan food. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, if you would have told me that this was a vegan dish, I'd have been like, no, no it's not. But I can totally also taste the sweetness of your sorghum and your sesame oil. Killer. Mushrooms, they're fantastic. They go really, really great with your broth. I agree with these two about the noodles. Being a woman in like a male dominated industry, you have to know your stuff and this is it. Like, this is a great dish. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Chef. We're going to head into judging and right. I appreciate it. We'll see you in one second. Thank you, Chef. So what did you think about today? Chef Reggie was overall very solid for me. Um, the only area of growth I had for him was to add uh, some uh, some acid into his dish. But overall, pretty good. What about you, Mackenzie? Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the creativity behind his dish. Chef Jaron and I were blown away at a fried crab in a <laughs> pasta. Uh, but there are three of us up here, yes. and there were only two plates, so I had Yes, which you don't like to do often, so I understand that. <laughs> yeah, because I thought he did, I thought his pasta was close to perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I think that he could have spent a little more time instead of for making that butter at the end, which it didn't need any butter on top of a fried crab cake. Um, so I think he could have used that time to actually make a third plate. Um, but besides that, he brought it in the pasta game. So what do you think about Chef Wes? Obviously, man. that broth oh, is man. worth a whole story, people. Whole story. Still singing on my palate right now. I, I love but it. Those noodles. What do you think about those noodles? If she had a 
taken just a little bit more time to slice them down nice and thin, she'd have had a winning dish for sure. So, do you think y'all know where you're going at as far as who won this round? Mm, I believe we do. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's bring them out. Well, all right, chefs, what an amazing competition. First, let's start with Chef Reggie. That pasta with the black pepper, the spinach, was made to perfection, cooked to perfection, and every judge just raved about it. You know, we wish that you would have given us three plates, though, because it was so delicious. And then Chef Wes, you rocked it out with ramen. Who thought that someone would do ramen in a pasta joint? <laughs> you know, no one was expecting that. The broth, the mushrooms, the vegetables, everything about that was delicious. We just wish that the noodles were a little bit thinner, and I think you would have had perfection on your dish. And the winner of Cook That Ish Pasta Edition is... <laughs> Chef Wes. Thank you. Congratulations. Nice Reggie, work, Reggie, you did nice an amazing work. job. She Thank just you. upped it by a little bit in that creativity, man. But you should be proud of yourself. We appreciate you, and hopefully we'll see you again on Cook That Ish. Job, job. <laughs> Thank you. So not only did you earn the bragging rights, right, in this battle with you and Reggie, because y'all know each other. Thanks to our friends at Electrolux Professional here in Louisville, you will also be receiving $5,000 for kitchen equipment of your choosing just in case you're starting this catering business that I know you have off the ground, this is perfect for you. I'm so excited. You really brung it, and we're just glad to have you. Thank you. This is going to be a game changer for me. Thank you so much. And the winner is... Yes! Yes! Give it up, people. Give it up, people. That is it for this episode. Tune in next time as we have two more rising chefs come out and not only talk about it, but cook it. Hey, ain't nobody oh cooking like your man right here. Man right here. Oh. Trying to find a sauce, then you should look right here. Look right here. Oh, I'm a forward